Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is our fourth video as part of our series of video of our playlist, Tally's latest release 6.0. So in the last video, we learned how we can import the bank statement. And also we learned how you can reset the bank data and re-import the same statement once again. In this video, we will see what are the prerequisite configuration that we have to do before we start our bank reconciliation activity. So this is very important because this configuration that we are going to do will determine how easy and simple you can make your bank reconciliation. Let us go to Tally and explore these options and understand them how we need to configure now let us configure our bank ledger as per your banking requirement. Now we can specify bank details and configure banking transaction for ease of bank reconciliation. In the previous video, we had specified the bank account details. Now we shall explore the other additional configuration that is set alter bank configuration. Come here and press Y enter. The check related configuration is the default banking feature which has already been provided. I will cover this in a separate video under the banking playlist. These two sections are the new configuration related to this release. The first option is reconciliation beginning date. So here you can enter the beginning date for reconciliation. Let me give an example. Let us say you have not reconciled bank account for previous years and now you want to start reconciliation from current year. In such case, you can type 1st of April 25 which is for the financial year 25-26. The default date will always be the first day of the current financial period. Again, if you want to apply starting date from the middle of the year, you can do so. For example, for the year 24-25, let us say you want to start this auto reconciliation from the month of October 2024 or from 1st of November 2024. Then you can specify the date. By specifying the date, Tally will exclude all transactions prior to the beginning date. So I have set this as 1st of April. Enter. The next one is set alter opening BRS. By setting this option to yes, we will be taken to this list of unreconciled transaction before the reconciliation beginning date. We had specified the beginning date as 1st of April. So basically what we are going to do here is you will capture all the transactions for the month of March which have not been reconciled in the month of March and these transactions are appearing in the month of April. So all those unreconciled transactions for the month or any any prior month you can capture here as unreconciled transaction. Now how do we capture this? If you see here on the right hand side button bar we have this option update opening BRS click here the cursor will come here enter the date of the transaction for the previous period let's say on 31st March so you will have this option here in the particulars you will select the ledger name nature of transaction is either you can say withdrawal or deposit then transaction type these are the different transaction types you can select the transaction type in the remarks column you can specify whatever is additional remarks and then since you have selected the nature of transaction as withdrawal, it will now ask for the withdrawal amount. And then if you have set the check range, it will now basically give you the list so that you can pick up the check that has been issued since it is a withdrawal and the instrument number you will enter here and the instrument date. So this way you will capture all unreconciled transaction before the reconciliation beginning date. Now once you import the bank statement for the month of April, the same will be reconciled from the bank statement. So once you have filled in, you can just press Ctrl A to save it. The next option is set alter auto reconciliation configuration. So let us go into the sub screen under this option. Just press Y. The banking feature of Tally Prime release 6 provides another very helpful feature, which is creation of voucher from bank statement, which I will cover 
in detail in my upcoming videos. Now this section is important for us to understand. Deposits. So by default, Tally is selecting a receipt as the default voucher for you to create the voucher from the bank statement. Now if some company would want to prefer journal as the default voucher type, you can select. I'll leave this as receipt, which is the normal way that companies would record deposits through receipt voucher, payment voucher. If you want, you can select journal. The next one is use a different voucher type for interbank slash cash transaction. So basically it is interbank transaction and cash transaction. So normally again, many organizations use the voucher type as contra. So you can set it here. Yes. And by default tally will first pick up the contra voucher. And again, if somebody would want to use a journal voucher, there is an option for them to choose. So by choosing these vouchers, whenever you are creating a new transaction from the bank statement, if it is deposit, it will automatically pick up receipt. Withdrawal will be payment and cash transactions or interbank transactions will be contra. Note, if you have different voucher series, you can select the same. Here, it is not displaying the voucher type series under deposit and withdrawal. Since in this company, there is Tally's default voucher series only. The next section, exact match configuration for book and bank transaction. Option here is identify exact matches for reconciliation. So here you have two type of identification. If you click here, one it says while importing statement and the second one is while importing statement and saving voucher. With this feature of auto bank reconciliation, Tally Prime will identify the exact match while importing the bank statement. If you select while importing the bank statement, it is going to identify. It will auto match the same with your book entries while importing the bank statement. How does Tally identify the exact match? Tally identifies the exact match based on the amount and instrument number. The other option while importing statement and saving voucher. When we do select this option, assume that you have already imported bank statement and later you are passing the transaction in the books. While saving this transaction, it will automatically identify the transaction in the bank statement that matches the voucher when you save it. So we select here the next option automatically reconciled exact matches found. By setting this option to yes, Tally Prime will automatically reconcile all exact matches. If you leave this as no, you will have to select the transaction or transactions of exact match and set the reconciliation. Let us now leave this to no. And while we are performing reconciliation in our next video, we will set it to yes and see the impact. So let us save this configuration. Control A. The next section e-payment. Again, I will cover in a separate video covering the entire scenario of e-payment feature of Tally. So once you have done this configuration, you are now ready to start auto reconciliation activity, which we will see in our next video. How are we now going to do the auto reconciliation or how Tally helps you in quickly do your reconciliation. Save this control A and again save this ledger control A. I hope the configuration that we saw will give you clarity on how you can set up the configuration, especially the voucher type for your deposit withdrawal and contra, which we discussed. And also we understood how you can quickly capture the opening BRS so that you can do your reconciliation, including your opening BRS data. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.